real um, fast. Let's try to go somewhere that's a little bit better than it is today because we're optimistic and we think There's tomorrow a... will be better than today, right? Yep. Great, great, so great, we're going to return to a segment that we haven't done. I don't even know. Does anybody know when we did this last? I don't know where you're looking. You walk yeah, I don't know why you would look at the newest um, cast member. We're going to do a segment that we like to call Headlines from the Future, and we've we've made this even better because we're in the the new era of news, and, and so that means we've definitely upped our game along with um, kicking cords as we move to the camera. So, Headlines from the Future, first headline. The newest wave of Star Wars character origin stories has been announced, which, following the success of Han Solo's spinoff, Having used the majority of main and secondary characters at this point, the newest titles will focus on such iconic roles as Sarlacc and B. Arthur's character in the holiday special. For more information on this story, we go to Tatooine, where Cameron Jackson has the news. Hi, I'm obviously on Tatooine on this barren, desolate planet. Your voice does something weird on Tatooine. Thank you. It's, it's, it's the, is it the, the gravity the camera or puts something? puts on five pounds of gravel to the voice. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, the so Sarlacc, one thought to be an interesting choice, um, actually was casted very well following his success in various franchises. Benedict Cumberbatch has been cast as the Sarlacc in this film, uh, starring opposite of... Uh, um, Let's go with Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, Jennifer Aniston. Um, directed by Guillermo del Toro. Uh, this should be a very interesting film. Uh, back to you in the studio, thousands of miles away. And here in the studio, I'm now joined by our panel of experts on this subject. Um, as we, we talk about this new story, how do you feel about the casting of Sarlacc as, um, or by Benedict Cumberbatch? Well, um, I think uh, some people in the audience are wondering who, what a Sarlacc <laughs> is. I know. So just speaking <laughs> on behalf I'm, of them? Yeah. To answer, to answer that question, we return to Tatooine. Where... <laughs> Here on this scorched desert planet, I am prepared to answer your questions for the uninitiated. The Sarlacc is a large gaping hole in the earth it's the with one teeth. That eats yes, Boba. that's it. Boba. <laughs> it's the one that eats Boba tea fat. <laughs> Yes, all of the chewy chunks at the bottom of the tall drink that is the bounty hunter. Back to you in the studio. Due to the perfecting of the once fictional super serum from Captain America, Chris Evans returns for the 85th Avengers film this year in his original role. Also returning is Robert Downey Jr., who simply refuses to age. For more information on his anti-aging, here's Cameron. When questioned about Tony Stark's choice not to age, Robert Downey Jr. said, What? What? Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, get old? No. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> We're now joined by our experts, our panel of experts, and uh, the most expertist expert I can think of in terms of anti-aging and um, fantastic faces is Haley the Hatter. That's a really weird 150 thing. years old. At 150 years old, how do you feel about uh, Tony but, Stark looking like he's 45? Yeah, that sounds like a really convincing uh, theory. That's exactly how I stay young as well. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's true. <laughs> Just asking why get old, that is what does it. <laughs> the, power, the power of the Always mind. question authority. <laughs> Especially okay. the authority of time. <laughs> time is fake. Time is illusion. So you're saying it's the Doctor Who approach? Sure, because I know all about that. Okay. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> Let's move right along. In Disneyland news, the new overlay for the 100th anniversary castle was announced. Six protests have already taken place, with 12 more on Facebook events scheduled. The maybe replies now number in the hundreds. Four more are expected. For more on Facebook, what is that, 45 years from now? Here's Cameron. Since the Facebook uprising of 2087, um, the wars have been fought over the social media platforms fiercely. Facebook, rising as the champion, has obviously been purchased by Disney, so it's interesting that the protests are taking part on a Disney product. Either way, Disney's going to come out with a profit. Back to you. And we are joined by our panel. <laughs> 
Katie. Katie can't speak right now. Are we surprised? That's my answer to this. And she is an expert because she has blue hairs and Facebook still is blue. Is it? Yes. Um, But if people were this mad about the 60th before the Facebook wars, what... (laughs) Continuing Recently on. Recently announced here in the field. <laughs> in the has, future, you have better ear things. Recently announced in the this. future. <laughs> Your audio is fine. The Walt Disney Company has purchased the color blue. <laughs> Back to you in the studio. The long-running Sherlock series starring Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh, bless has announced the release of its next season. This is very good news. Yes. Um, this will bring time. the 40-year total number of seasons to seven. <laughs> For more information on the seventh series of Sherlock, we now go to London, where Cameron is speaking live. Hello. <laughs> no. no. I'm going to stop that right now. All right. Good, I'm glad you tried that. Thank you. Done. Excellent. Hello. Ten for ten. This is bad. <laughs> Sherlock, Sherlock. This is very serious season news. Pr- promises to be an interesting one, since the zombie mechanized cyborg warrior return of Moriarty in the sixth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The choice to give him Gatling gun lasers as well as antiquated Victorian (laughs) microscope equipment seemed very odd, yet compelling, and we want to watch more. Back to you, now. (laughs) In recent news, we're just moving right along on that one. Okay. The Snow White live action film has been announced, so, you know, there's that. Cameron? (laughs) Costing nearly $4 billion to make, this Snow White film is expected to make a grand total of $17 in a bucket of popcorn. A rousing success in the recent line of live action films from Disney. Back to you. Back in the studio, we're joined by our final expert panel of the night. Uh, Snow White is now 248 years old. What do you think about the enduring classic that is Snow White? And the seven cyborgs. <laughs> the seven cy- You know, I'm just excited to see the future of emotion and the future of what each of the dwarves <laughs> feel. Because, the, you know, society is moving to a very negative and ugly place. So what will happen to Happy? Is Happy even happy? I don't know. That's what I'm... You are about to find out. We are about to find, find out. out. It's not so much about Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, but more a reflection on emotions mm-hmm. and how you relate, mm-hmm. you know? More about how the dwarves it's like themselves. inside out, yeah. but with these, like, cyborgs mm-hmm. to, like, tap into your emotions. Oh, yeah. so you're saying that Pixar is now doing live-action movies. Yeah, yeah but it's okay. still, it's like, it's also yeah. also all animated, but it's still live-action, you yeah. know? Oh, so you're saying John Favreau is directing it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I got it. Yeah. Get it. Okay, and uh, that's been Headlines from the Future. We hope you've enjoyed the return of this enduring classic. If you liked it, we'll do it again, and if you don't, we'll probably, we'll probably still do it, do it again, again anyway. Yeah. Uh, that's how this show works. It's our show!